Here on Techspert, we recently rounded up the very best camera phones that you can bag in 2019 with just one small problem. If you're a bit skint or a bit of a cheap ass, then none of these premium priced mobiles are likely to appeal. But if you're on a strict budget and still looking for a top smartphone snapper to shoot your everyday existence, fear ye not. Because we love you so much, we've also decided to round up the best budget friendly smartphone cameras of 2019. These are our favorite affordable camera phones, which all come in at under £350 and generally under the £300 or even £250 price point. And don't forget, for more on the latest and greatest affordable mobile tech, as well as that premium stuff, to pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Honor 8X Despite its frankly ridiculous £230 asking price, the Honor 8X boasts one of the best mid-range smartphone snappers out there, and it's all thanks to the really smart software. The 20 megapixel primary lens snatches great looking everyday photos, while Huawei's AI branded scene recognition tweaks the settings to match all kinds of different subjects and really bring them to life. A 2 megapixel depth sensor gives accurate portrait results too, so your living subjects will look the biz. But most impressive of all is the fantastic night mode, which apes the same feature found on Huawei's premium P20 and Mate 20 handsets. This produces exceptional low light shots using a long exposure technique, without any need for tripods and other jazz like that. Just hold the Honor 8X relatively steady and the shots you'll get are bright, sharp and frankly as good as you'll get on some super expensive smartphones. As with all the other phones in this roundup, I fully reviewed the Honor 8X's camera tech over a combo, so go check out that review for all you need to know and I've also compared it with some of its closest rivals here on Techspert. Nokia 7 Plus it may be getting on a bit, but the Nokia 7 Plus still impresses us with its Zeiss branded camera tech. Zeiss? Zeiss? However you pronounce it, it's really f***ing good, alright? This dual lens setup consists of a 12 megapixel primary shooter with a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, providing a 2x optical zoom on demand. The photo results are attractive for sure, complete with natural colour reproduction. That lens can deal with everything from swooping vistas to up close macro shots, no worries at all. And it's really impressive in low light too, especially for a budget blower. For your home movies, you can shoot up to 4K resolution video. Stabilization does unfortunately suck at that level, but otherwise you will get good results. And the Ozo audio feature captures effective surround sound too, which is definitely rare at this price point. Another great Zeiss Zeiss branded smartphone camera can be found on the Nokia 7.1 as well. This once again offers 4K video capture with that Ozo audio feature enabled and of course some pretty strong photography chops as well, although the Nokia 7.1 isn't quite as well rounded a smartphone as the Nokia 7 Plus sadly. Huawei Mate 20 Lite if you're a fan of dual lens cameras, then the Mate 20 Lite by Huawei is probably going to make your pants explode in merriment because there's two, count them, two of the buggers, one around back and one up front for a total of four lenses. Round back, you get a 20 megapixel primary snapper and a secondary depth sensor, and once again, Huawei's AI mode is on board to grab good looking shots with minimal effort. The Mate 20 Lite does struggle with low light photos, but in other conditions, it's definitely a winner. There's no 4K video capture option, sadly, but at Full HD level, the results are once again great. And where the Mate 20 Lite really shines is those sexy selfies. The 24 megapixel lens once again has a depth sensor to capture neat looking portrait shots. And even in quite tricky conditions, off photos generally came out really nicely. Sony Xperia XA2. A Sony smartphone camera is basically the same deal as a Jason Statham film. You don't even need to bother reading a review, you just know it's going to be shit hot. And the affordable Xperia XA2 is no exception. This handset was launched a full year ago, and yet the 23 megapixel single lens snapper is still one of the best that you can get on a tight budget. Photo results are sharp and realistic using Sony's superior auto mode, which definitely lives up to its title. And the video chops are just as strong. Full HD footage can be captured at 60 frames per second, and a 4K mode is also on offer. Sony's steady shot stabilization does the job nicely when you're shooting on the move, although sadly there is no super slow motion on the XA2, just standard slow mo. Moto G6 Plus. Yet yeah, another trusty budget smartphone snapper is of course the Moto G6 Plus. This dual lens shooter boasts a wider aperture compared with the standard G6 along with a super nippy dual pixel autofocus, so the low light performance is rather bloody good for an affordable handset. Even high contrast scenes are handled admirably, so the G6 Plus is a good choice for quite demanding users who are out of pocket. Portrait results are great and there's some fun bonus features like the spot colour mode which can produce quite arty Instagram snaps. And like the Xperia XA2 which we just mentioned, the Moto G6 Plus can also shoot full HD video at 60 frames per second or boost the resolution to 4K levels, a feature that you don't get with a standard G6. We also want to give props to the Motorola One here as well, even though it's not quite as fully rounded as a smartphone as the Motorola G6 Plus, you still get those great features on offer and fantastic results across a range of conditions. Samsung Galaxy A6 
The single 16 megapixel snapper on the back of the Galaxy A6 is our final pick of one of the best budget smartphone cameras right now. You'll get detailed shots no matter what you're up to and the low light credentials are pretty decent too, as long as you have a steady hand. Video wise there's no 4K but the Full HD results are good, again as long as you're stuck quite still. But where the Galaxy A6 really does impress is those essential selfies. You can flash your palm to that 16 meg camera to take a shot and there's an excellent portrait mode as well as an LED flash for night shots. Great stuff. And that right there is our roundup of just some of the best budget smartphone cameras that you can get heading into 2019. Don't forget to plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for loads more on the latest and greatest mobile tech as we charge ours first into 2019. And don't forget to let us know your own favorite smartphone snappers in the comments down below if I've missed yours out. Bearing in mind that these roundups only feature smartphones that I've actually personally tested and reviewed. Cheers everyone, love you, bye.